Well, hey, hey, guys, welcome to the studio. Today, we want to get into some more advanced mixing techniques with the OTT blend. This is a trick that I use. You don't have to necessarily use OTT, but I'm going to use that in the example, and I'm going to give you some options of free ways that you can try to get this to happen for yourself. Let's get to it. First off, what the heck is OTT? It stands for over the top, and it's part of the multiband dynamics processor available in Ableton. But really, you can use any multiband compression and get similar results. Let's take a look at it. Here's OTT in Ableton, and it really is over the top. I'm going to start by giving you a bypass and just a quick drum hit or two. That's dry. And I've clicked it on. You can hear it's still tailing off the cymbals. Here's a couple hits. Very long decays. Without it. And with it. Very different. Here we have that same drum set sound, and I'm concerned with this knob down on the bottom right called Amount, set for zero. The OTT is on, but I have the amount for zero. Here's the drums. Very tight, very snappy. This is Abbey Road Modern Drummer White Kit, I believe. Blend that in. And there's that crazy OTT. Okay, but let's blend this back a little bit to zero. There's all the punch again. I'm going to use my ear. Twenty-seven percent. Let's go with that. Let's listen to what it does with the bass guitar. Very snappy treble. And off. Okay, let's use our ears and blend this in. Hmm. Seemed to like a good amount of that. Remember, once we get the other instruments blended together, we're going to go back and tweak these. But this is just to hear what it's doing. And for our final instrument, we have a stereo guitar track with some overdrive on it. Let's give that a listen. All right, let's blend in this OTT. I really hear the, the pick noise more clearly. Let me blend it out again. Now, I think it was a pretty decently recorded guitar sound. Uh, we're using Native Instruments Guitar Rig 6 on this, and a decent sound. This tends to kind of bring it to life. Now, but we got to remember a couple of things after we dial this in. Let's find a good spot. Ooh. Yeah, right about that. One thing we got to remember, they call this over the top for a reason. It really is designed to be used on your master bus to bring a mix that needs a little bit more life and a little bit more sizzle to it. Uh, and when you get to learn how this effect works, you can tweak all kinds of stuff within the processor itself. I know we're just using the preset on this but let's check out what it sounds like in the mix between the drums, the bass, and that stereo guitar track. Okay, here's our drums. We do have a little bit of OTT blended in on the three of these. We get that bass in there. And those guitars.
it's not bad. Let me start removing some of the OTTs. OTT off. OTT on. Now, every song is different. Not every song is going to be voiced to sound like this one. Probably the first thing I would do at this point for this song is I would go and I would tweak the levels, the bass, the mid, and the treble coming out of the OTT for each of these independent tracks. Something to keep in mind about how I do mixes in here is I'm on the clock. I've got to turn out something that works the first time every time. So I will tend to just kind of use that basic blending knob on individual tracks to bring a mix to life. And it's really rare for me to tweak them as if they're EQs. And if you've watched this channel for a while, you know something about me and EQs. I tend not to reach for EQs unless I absolutely have to. And what's a decent substitute for OTT, assuming you don't have Ableton and you don't have this preset built into multiband dynamics? The answer is really any kind of multiband compressor. I'm a big fan of limiters that tend to colorize when you hit them a little bit too hard, which is pretty much every limiter that's out there. There's tons of free stuff that you can get your hands on. And you might be wondering, well, why don't I just throw one of them on the master bus after I have my mix and, and blend it in there? That's also a very cool option when you get to the point where you want to master the actual track. But if they're independently assigned to, say, the drums independently, it will do its job without being affected by something like a bass note hitting and driving the dynamics crazy on a track that has nothing to do with the bass. So run them independently on your drum mix, then on your bass mix, then on your guitar mix. They also work wonders on vocals. And if you really want to get really particular, if your drums are divided like independent kick, independent snare, independent overheads, uh, that type of a setup, you'll find yourself blending it in a little bit less, but you can get a great amount of control over individual drum tracks as well. The reason we're on this topic is because our Facebook group called Recording Tips, which you should come check out, had a poll, what are we most interested in seeing these future videos on? And a large amount of people had said, let's get more into advanced mixing techniques. Now, this is maybe not super advanced, but it's a quick way to get a really, really big sound out of a mix that might just be kind of laying flat. And if you enjoy what you're seeing on this channel, do us a favor and click subscribe. The more subscribers a channel has, the easier it is for them to lure more experts into their discussions. And I appreciate it. Thank you. Well, guys, we got a lot of work to do. Let's get to it.